Legs can present with many kinds of problems. The most common problems that we suffer from are swelling, are heaviness, are pain in the legs. Typically, people will tell you that they have more of these problems at the end of the day after long standing. When they go home, they want to put their feet up and that gives them some relaxation. So these are some of the symptoms, some of the problems that the patient will present to you with when he complains of difficulty in the legs. The first thing we need to do is a clinical exam. We need to know the history of the patient. We need to know what things make it better, what things make it worse. The most important thing is the next step of investigation is an ultrasound, which is not something that requires any big operations to be done. It's simply putting something on top of your skin with a little bit of jelly and just takes pictures. That's it. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes. The person who's doing it will be somebody who's trained in sonography. You will typically be exposed in that part of the leg that will allow that part to be tested. And then after that, you'll go right home or back to your physician to discuss the results of your ultrasound. After you do the ultrasound, they would have checked your veins. They would have checked for two parts of the veins. One are the deep main roads that go and take blood back up. And the other is the superficial or the highway. Now the highway and the main road meet up at several places. What they are doing on the ultrasound is checking for these connections as well as checking for toll booths that exists. Just like you have when you're driving on a highway or a main road, there are toll booths, there are checkpoints. And so the body also has checkpoints that make sure that blood flows in one direction. And on the ultrasound, they would have checked for all these things and found which of these is not working. And not just which of these is not working, what's also important to know on the ultrasound is how long they're not working for what the duration of the blood falling down is, as well as what the size or what the size of the traffic jam is on that highway. What happens is once you've had the ultrasound and they have shown that you have blood falling down, which means that you have reflux, which is the technical term to use, then you have to decide, how do I fix this problem? How do I get the blood to go back up towards the heart to squeeze the blood so that my problem in the leg goes away? Well, one of the ways of treating it is just using stockings. They squeeze it, they make the blood go up, and your symptoms get better. The problem with stockings is that you have to wear them forever. You have to wear them for the rest of your life, number one. Number two, you have to keep them on all during the day to really see the benefit of it. The difficulty is that this does not treat your, treat your problem. It actually just treats you symptomatically, it gets rid of the swelling, gets rid of, gets rid of the pain. We have alternatives to be able to treat this in a more permanent way. In the old days, we used to do a procedure called a stripping operation where you would come in, you would have general anesthesia you, or spinal anesthesia, you would stay in the hospital for a day, it takes about two to four weeks to recover and you'd have a cut in the groin as well as lower down in the leg. While this was okay in the old days, in this day and age, there is almost no indication to do an open operation because there's such minimally invasive means available not just because they're minimally invasive, but also because they have a shorter recovery period and perhaps most importantly, that their results, their success rates over the five-year data that has been tracked are better. And that's the reason to pre prefer to go with minimally invasive vein treatment to be able to get these results. So the recovery phase after you've had a minimally invasive procedure would be You'd come to the hospital, you'd get the procedure. It takes about half an hour to one hour for the procedure itself, depending on whether you're having one or two legs. It's all done under local anesthesia. You go home within a few hours. You'll go home walking, just with a stocking, and then you typically will follow up with your physician to have an ultrasound repeated in the post-operative period within a duration of 48 hours to make sure that there's no blood clots in your main road and that your vein is closed off. Sometimes the vein doesn't close off immediately and takes about a week to two weeks for the highway to actually close. During that period of after the vein has been closed, what you'll find is that on the inside of your thigh, you'll feel some tightness and you might feel some tenderness over there, which all goes away. The beauty of treatment these days is when you see all those other veins that are coming off in the leg, you don't actually have to have separate cuts for that. Treating it from below where the main problem is fixes the whole problem. So for instance, in our practice, we have done more than a thousand legs without making a single cut aside from where the vein is closed in the inside. That's it. There are no real indications for doing phlebectomy in our practice because we've seen these results are, 
are actually much better for the patient. Then the patient will see us back in six weeks, at which time the full effect of doing the minimally invasive vein treatment will be seen. And at that time, whatever other veins are remaining, we just treat with injections in the clinic, and that's the end of the story. You don't have to wear stockings after the first couple of days that you've worn them, and you go back to doing all your activities normally. There are no activity restrictions. You can go and exercise. You can go and swim. There are no food restrictions, and that's it. It's as simple as that when you get minimally invasive vein treatment. With the procedure that typically we use is called radiofrequency ablation. Mm -hmm.